Riverside or Riverside.fm is an online video and audio calling and recording software that you can use to record your podcast episodes online. It records participants locally on their own machine, which results in a higher quality recording than other more basic tools such as Zoom, Google Meet and Teams. There are certain other tools that do a similar job. Riverside is a popular one at the moment um, and it also has a free plan, which is what we're going to be looking at in this video. So you're going to find out what Riverside offers in their free plan and the limitations and whether it's still worth using for your podcast if you're not paying for it. So let's take a look at what Riverside includes in their free plan. So you've got the free plan here and then there's the standard and the more expensive option as well. The free plan allows you to record two hours of separate audio and video tracks. This is sort of like basically a trial. So for two hours of recording, say you have yourself and a guest speaking, you can record and you'll get two separate audio tracks. So one for your guest and one for yourself. Recording to two separate files gives you more possibility to edit out interruptions and mistakes and things in the editing stage, but you only get to do it for two hours. After your two hours is up, you can record and edit single track recordings uh, unlimited. So it is free to use forever, at least at time of recording, and you'll still be recording those high quality files. It's just that you'll be slightly more limited in terms of the editing. And bear in mind that if you're already using Google Meet or Teams, they can only record audio to one track. So there's no difference there if you're using one of those two and you're considering Riverside. In terms of the video, you can record up to 720p of video quality, which is perfectly fine for a podcast but there is a watermark on the exported files. So if this bothers you, then you would have to pay for the standard. But if you're just starting out and also if you're sort of cropping your video and things like that, it might not bother you at all. And of course, if you're only doing an audio podcast and you're not putting the video out there, then it won't matter either. You can record up to 44.1 kilohertz in audio quality, which is absolutely fine. You can record 48 in the paid uh, plans, but 44.1 is absolutely fine. And to most of your listeners, they will not be able to tell the difference at all. One other limitation to consider, and this is the same for all of the plans, even if you do pay for it, is that Riverside only works at time of recording on Google Chrome, on Microsoft Edge, and on their app. So if you have a guest who uses Firefox or Safari, or they just don't really understand the difference between web browsers, you might have a little bit more friction getting them set up on Riverside than you would with something like Zoom. Um, and I, I have art, like I have sent an email to uh, to Riverside before about this because um, I just wondered if if this was something that they were working on. And obviously they said they'd pass it on to their, their team and everything. So hopefully one day we'll see it working um, across all of the popular web browsers. But at the moment, if that's a limitation that's going to bother you, then it's just something to be aware of. So let's get started with the free plan. I'm going to create a new account just so you can see what it looks like when you sign up. If you do decide to sign up and try this out, I've left an affiliate link in the description below. If you click through there and use coupon code CLARICAST, then it will get you 15% off your first purchase. So even if you're using the, the free version later on, if you ever wanted to try out the premium features, you'd get 15% off that first order. And that is an affiliate link. So I do get a cut if you buy anything through there, but obviously you can just go to riverside.fm and sign up if you'd rather not. So here we are in Riverside and you'll get your welcome, your welcome video and you get one studio there. So your a studio is is basically what it what it says. It's a, it's like a digital recording studio. On the free plan you only get one studio. Uh, on the paid versions you can create multiple studios for different podcasts or different uses, but for most podcasters the one studio will be absolutely fine. And if you go into your studio settings you'll see that as as a free user there are a few settings that are locked. Uh, as we mentioned, limited to standard resolution of 720p and so on. Let's jump into the studio and take a quick recording. As you'll see, you have all of the options that you need to record your podcast. You'll just see a few of these little lightning bolt icons that show you need the paid tier if you want to use these features. So the teleprompter, for example, um, presenting your screen. But the basic things, like you can paste a script at the top here, and obviously you can record your audio and video. That's all included in the free plan. So I'm going to click record and we're going to try recording something. I'm just recording, well, re-recording the, the trailer to my podcast just as a test. So let's rename that. 
Are you ready to take your podcast to the next level? Do you want to leverage your podcast so that you can achieve your goals? Just recording a little test there. I'm going to click stop. And then it will upload that back to Riverside in high quality. Then we can click view recordings. And you'll see your recording saved in there. So let's go through and have a look. And again, you'll see all these little lightning bolt icons. Um, just reminding you that you only have two hours to record separate tracks. Otherwise, it's just going to be all in one track. And once that's uploaded and processed, you'll be able to click high quality and download the raw audio, the full quality WAV file, as well as the raw video in MP4. Or you can click export all to quickly just download all the files available. And now that that's been processed, again, you'll see there are certain things like the AI show notes that aren't available. Um, but you can go onto the editor and edit your podcast in Riverside. But before we dive into that, I just want to give you a quick listen of an example of the little bit of audio that I recorded on Riverside with the same mic compared with Google Meet and Zoom. Are you ready to take your podcast to the next level? Do you want to leverage your podcast so that you can achieve your goals? Are you ready to take your podcast to the next level? Do you want to leverage your podcast so that you can achieve your goals? Are you ready to take your podcast to the next level? Do you want to leverage your podcast so that you can achieve your goals? So the difference is quite subtle between Zoom and Riverside. Um, if we had a poor network connection or we had a guest with a poor network connection, it'd be a little bit more obvious, I think. Uh, Google Meet is obviously clearly much lower in fidelity, but there is definitely a difference between the three. And then, of course, if you simply recorded locally onto your computer with something like Audacity um, or Adobe Audition or GarageBand, whatever, just locally without using any of these systems, that would be the highest quality you could possibly record. But this is mainly focused on people who are recording with guests or a co-host. So if you're not comfortable with using a waveform based editing, if you're not familiar with how to do that and you just want a simple way of editing, then it's going to give you an AI generated transcript so that you can cut and paste and delete uh, words instead of pieces of the waveform to edit. I do recommend editing in an audio interface like Audacity or Reaper or GarageBand, something like that. It gives you a lot more control over the audio. You can get a much more professional result out of it and you can mix and master things to make them sound great. It works absolutely fine if you do want to give this a go. It's a little bit behind where Descript is at the moment with their text-based editing. But it's there if you want a text-based editor and you want an all-in-one solution and you don't do a huge amount of editing at this stage anyway. It does have a few other tools and it says there are more tools coming soon and you can add captions and, and backgrounds and things like that. So there are a lot of features considering it's a free tier. But again, the most important thing is that you can record high quality audio and video. Everything else is just kind of a bonus. So Riverside's free plan is worth using, I'd say, if you're a podcaster and you're having issues with the quality of your recordings through Zoom and other free options like Google Meet and Teams. A lot of these services that allow you to record higher quality like Zencaster and Squadcast and things, they don't have free plans, at least, again, not a time of recording. So Riverside is a good option if you're on a budget uh, and then you've got that scalability if you want to put some more money into your podcast later on. The fact that you can't record episodes to separate tracks, basically, after your two hours trial is a bit of a pain um, and it's going to affect your editing abilities. That doesn't mean it's not going to sound great or anything. It just means um, that if you're recording a conversation with someone, you won't be able to edit out interruptions and things. If you're recording a solo podcast, that's not going to be a problem for you at all. And then again, the web browser limitations is a bit of a pain. If you're already using Chrome, again, that's not going to be a problem. Um, but hopefully that's something that they'll sort out in the future. So it's worth looking into if you're looking for an alternative to Zoom. Let me know in the comments section below if you do give it a go and what your experience is like. And for more podcast tips and guides and tutorials, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.